Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to stream your productions live over the internet with the TC1, VMC1, and TriCaster Advanced Edition. Now streaming has become an extremely popular method of delivering your message to your viewers, much like the video you're watching now. There's a vast number of sites out there to stream to and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream to your favorites with just a click of a button. Let's take a look. So let's start first with streaming setup on TriCasters using Advanced Edition. The first thing we need to do is determine what you want to stream. To assign this, open your hardware configuration window by double clicking on the program out window or clicking the gear icon below it. From here you can configure your inputs, outputs, and PTZ control, but we are going to focus on the output tab in this example. Under source, Let's take a look at stream. By default, the output is set to mix one, which if we look above is currently set to program. You can assign mix one through four to stream out, so be sure that your mix source is set up properly as this is what will stream out. Next to that is the audio section. By default, this is set to master, so every audio source can be heard through the stream, but you can select from just individual outputs or specific inputs if you'd like as well. The resolution field for streaming is replaced with a separate audio monitor and adjustable volume knob if you need to make any adjustments to the stream without affecting the recordings. Now that we have that set up, let's look at where we are going to stream to. To open your choices, click the gear icon next to stream at the top of your screen. Here you'll see a huge list of common streaming providers to choose from. Everything from Twitch, Ustream, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. Each provider is going to have a unique setup. You can set up each streaming provider by clicking the gear icon next to their name. Most of them will ask you for your login credentials and some will also ask which profile under your account to stream to. If you have multiple pages per account for let's say Facebook, you can choose a page under this drop down. Some streaming providers will pop up a page like this asking you to approve access of a new tech app to stay logged into your account. Make sure you allow it access and to remember you so you don't have to set it up each time. If you want to stream to multiple pages under the same account, then all you need to do is to create a new connection and add another Facebook plugin and rename it. Once you've created that, it will be added to your drop down list. Once you've set these up, let's go through and put a check next to each of the accounts we want to stream to. After you've selected these, click Stream and you're off and running. A few little tips here. Since Advanced Edition only uses one flash media encoder to send out your signal, it will default to the lowest resolution selected in your presets. For example, if you have YouTube set up to be 1080p and Facebook set to 720p, both will receive a 720p signal as this is the lower of the resolutions. Also, if you'd like to set up a stream using Windows Media Push or Pull, you can do that under the Legacy tab, but keep in mind if you use Legacy, you can only stream to one of these sources at a time. Now, if you don't see the site you want to stream to here, you can scroll down and select New Connection where you have more choices. If the site still doesn't appear, I'd recommend clicking Custom and give it a unique name. It will then ask for your username and password, along with the RTMP and Stream ID. You can find that information by clicking on the web browser and navigating to the site you want to stream to to find out that information. Okay, now let's take a look at how to stream using the TC1 or VMC1. The concept is very similar, but the biggest difference between streaming on TriCaster Advanced Edition versus the TC1 or VMC1 is you now have two different streaming encoders to work with. So you can send one stream out with a completely different resolution as the other or completely different source as the other. Let's take a look. So let's start off with assigning which feed goes to which stream. You can access the hardware configuration the same way as Advanced Edition or click the streaming gear icon and it will appear as a choice in the upper menu. So now you can send one source to streaming engine number one and a similar source to streaming engine number two, or you can mix and match. 
To log into the streaming providers you want, click on the gear icon next to the name to log in and select the page you want to stream to. If the site you want to use does not appear, you can search for more or create a new one under the New Preset tab at the bottom. So now that we have our preset set up, let's look at the settings for each encoder. Next to the encoder numbers, click the gear icon to open the configure encoder window. From here you can select from a few different default profiles of low, medium, or high, or you can have it match the session you're in. You can also change the resolution here if you want to stream to a different resolution or stream vertically. Set up encoder 2 the same way or differently using the same method. After that is set up, click the checkbox next to the connections you wish to have encoder 1 or 2 stream to. Once that's set up, click stream and you're ready to go. Streaming video is now the fastest and most convenient way to get your message directly to your audience and TriCaster has the perfect tools to get you there. Now if you like these tutorial videos but want some more information, go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration of our TriCaster products. Until next time, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.